Here it is, finally, the moment of truth, the most luxurious barbecue that you are gonna find in Korea, or maybe even in the world. Is that a gold? Yeah, it is gold, real gold. Seoul, South Korea, home of the world's most expensive Korean barbecue. But how did they get to that price, and is it worth it? What kind of flavor does the gold add? Is it just more luxurious? Today, we'll get a behind the scenes look at how master chefs take apart premium Hanwu Galbi. Right here, he's gonna show us some of the different cuts that will be on the platter for today. Plus, we'll tour some of the most unique Korean barbecue joints in Seoul. We put the pork belly on top, so it's bubbling. Including Palsik Samgipsal, a restaurant serving eight different flavors of pork belly. This one is ginseng flavored. Get ready. I'm here with Heijun. Hi. What do you like about Korean barbecue? It's just something that represents us the best. It's all the flavors of Korea on one table. It's time to eat. Right now, we've come to our first location where they are serving samgyeopsal, pork belly, with eight different flavors. Let's go inside and check it out. Palsik samgyeopsal means eight colors of pork belly. Here, every bite is a new taste sensation. We have all these plants. Have you seen this many plants before in your life? We're gonna eat some of those. For about $30, they're serving up 600 grams of pork belly, unlimited sides, and a bubbling kimchi stew. So this is our most basic stew for Korean people, made out of kimchi tofu, a lot of vegetables, mm. it's really spicy, and also it's good for hangovers. <laughs> you ready? It's really spicy. Mm. <coughs> it's really spicy. Incredible sour flavor to it. And we use extra fermented kimchi on kimchi stews because it creates the sour flavor. Oh. Time to meet our meat. Eight flavors including ginseng, wine, pine leaves, garlic, herb, curry, miso paste, and the finale coated in red chili paste. It's just like one of my favorite setups for Korean barbecue because we're gonna put this fatty pork belly on top here and the fat is just gonna flow downhill and it's gonna help fry the kimchi, make it fatty and sour and delicious. We're starting out with ginseng, wine, garlic, and pine leaves. This pine one is super unique. Can we just try it plain like this? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Fatty, chewy, a hint of pine flavor. You can actually smell the pine tree. It's kind of like gin. This one is ginseng flavored. Mmm. I gotta be honest, the ginseng's not for me. I think it's so cool that you get a ginseng um, smell from the pork. Yeah. Ginseng, it's a root vegetable. It mm -hmm. just tastes like very earthy. It's very earthy. You can eat the meat directly or throw it in a wrap. I got my leaf here. I'm gonna put on my new favorite, which is the garlic. We've got some of this kimchi that's been hanging out, soaking up all this fat. Put some onion in there, give it a dip. Let's go for it. Mmm. It's so simple yet so delicious. A little bit of sourness from the kimchi, it's fatty. It's just everything blended into one bite. Wait, is this like a little broom? They just use this little radish, like a Zamboni machine to get all the grease off. I love it. Last up, herb, curry, miso paste, and hot. And I'm a little scared about this one. For the flavor in English, it just says hot. <laughs> Final, the gochujang, the hot flavor. Let's go for it. Mmm. Spicy, smooth, a little sweet. I'm running out of words to describe meat, guys. It just has the right amount of everything. Which one is the best? Definitely gochujang. After hanging around all those intense flavors, there's only one way to end a meal like this. Kamsamida. <laughs> We are at the second location. Do you know anything about this place? Really different style of barbecue and that it put um, Korean samgyeopsal to another level. Before we dine on luxurious gold-plated cow steaks, we're checking out the newest barbecue trend in Seoul, the tabletop rotisserie. They've got some charcoal that they drop into the center of this giant hollow toaster. And then they give you your own skewers. Any date you bring here will be terrified at first upon witnessing the Buffalo Bill-inspired decor. But after getting a whiff of the food, it's over. We put the pork belly on top so it's bubbling and then oozing and dripping this oil onto the potatoes and the potatoes are starting to crispify from that pig fat. They've got everything on a skewer, even churros, but we've settled for a potato skewer and two Korean garlic bacon skewers for about $15. I think it's ready. All right, we're pulling it off. Gonna throw it on the flat top. Potatoes have been in there about five or six minutes. How cool is that? It's big, it's crispy. 
Oh, it's really hot. It actually has some bacon flavor in there. Mm -hmm. It's super garlicky, salty, bacony. I feel like if I stayed up late at night, somebody on an infomercial would be trying to sell me one of these at some point. For dessert, bananas and pineapple, because I just can't resist seeing what this is all about. Our fruit has been in here for about five minutes, smelling toasty already. Ooh. The cinnamon from on top of there, especially. There's some steam coming off there, and it's like cinnamon banana toast crunch. Let's go for it. Mm. It's really good. It's different than any kind of roasted banana I've ever had. It's sweet, soft, and warm. Yo, they nailed it. It's I love so this. Sweet. Korean barbecue taken to the next level, or at least a different level. Would you recommend it to a friend? Yes, definitely. Would you recommend it to an enemy? No. Last up, the clickbait moment of redemption you've been waiting for. We have arrived now at our final location right behind us. Myeongwalkwan. Here they are serving the most premium beef that is possible. And so everything is, it's all, it's all. Did it eat kimchi? Sorry? Did the cow eat any kimchi? Uh, maybe. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, that's how Korean this cow was, is, and, and mostly was. Myeongwalkwan, a place of magic where foodie dreams come true, where the beef-scented wind gently wisps your hair back. Or maybe not. We're looking for the menu, we're trying to decide what to order, and then they offered us this beastly platter here. It's so big, they couldn't even make a plate. They had to chop a piece of tree off. And then look at this, there's five different cuts of hanwoo beef. This whole set, it's 650,000 Korean won, which, uh, what's that coming to? Any idea what it is? $603, the most expensive meal I've ever had on my show so far. Before dinner is served, we're getting a behind the scenes look at how their legendary Hanwu beef ribs are prepared. We are in the kitchen. We're going into the area where they're cutting the meat. They've selected the most prime Hanwu beef. We've got a lot of chunks of cow here. If you've heard of Wagyu beef, Hanwu is basically the Korean version of that. High quality beef that's kind of a cultural icon, coming from native Korean bred cattle. And these chefs only use the highest rated cuts. Can you call this a cut of beef? It's like, it is a whole beef. Galbi, or Korean beef ribs, are one of the tastiest things you could put in your mouth. And we're gonna see how they go from this to this. So they're gonna remove the fat first and they're gonna cut the meat. They're just preparing the ribs. They've sliced off a lot of the fat, and then they're gonna start separating the ribs now. If you're wondering what makes any cut of beef expensive, it's all about the marbling. Marbling means just how the fat is interspersed with the protein. And so, just get a close up of this beautiful rib right here. Intermeshed fat and protein. So when that cooks, it's gonna be super tender, cooking in its own fatty juices. He handed me this one. It must be like cream of the crop right here. It is just like a spider web of fat moving through the protein. Five minutes later, we have a mountain of ribs right here, and that is ready for the next step of the process. After they run it through the bandsaw, they're gonna peel off one more layer of fat to expose the meat on the rib. To elongate the cut, making it suitable for grilling, they slice next to the bone, get rid of this thing, then continue carefully slicing and bending the meat, carving it into this final form. Clean up the bones and score the meat, creating more surface area to soak up more marinade. Wow, that is a thing of beauty. Finally, our feast awaits us. The table is already set with little side dishes, myochi, sweet potato salad, kimchi, and other plants, and then, all at once, it happens. Whoa. They put gold on the meat, guys. This was completely unexpected. They have edible gold. Not bad, this is, this is awesome. I can't wait to try it out. To ensure the perfect barbecue experience, the staff even come by to grill the meat for us. The thin flank. What kind of flavor does the gold add? For the luxurious and it the fancy. This is gonna be the most luxurious tasting barbecue Ooh. ever. We have a lot of stuff on this table and it's cute and I appreciate it. I'm mainly focused on this meat. Oh dear, look at this. Now guys, that green stuff, it's not cucumber. That's zucchini, that's okay. This whole room has its own fan system. It just goes away. Oh, come so Oh, she says she um the first bite should be with the salt. It's my first bite of the Hanwoo beef wow. ever in my life. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Mm. 
Wow. The fat, the juiciness of it, it's ridiculous. Really juicy. And literally, the juices are dripping off of it. We did try putting some of this high quality meat in a prison of vegetables, but it just didn't feel right. The best way to enjoy the best meat. Yeah, you just have to like pay respect to the meat directly and not cover it up with anything. <laughs> Next up, thin skirt. Before they took apart the ribs, they sliced off this prized cut, known for its flavor. It starts out looking like this, but after a few minutes of whittling away the fat and gristle, it starts taking form. How long do you think it would take you to do that? Yeah, it's like the whole day. <laughs> yeah. But for him, it's like five minutes. I mean, honestly, for me, this is art. This is my kind of art. And some dude in California is still gonna be like, oh, actually, Korean barbecue in California is better. Listen. <laughs> no, it's not. You got mobile susa like this? Wow, it's already falling apart just because of the type of meat it is. The gold just reminds you how luxurious an experience you're having. Very nice. Oh, wow, look at this. We have our salt. We're gonna put in the meat. Just get a little bit on there. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's even more tender than the last one. Mm -hmm. It's some of the most juicy beef I've ever had. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for, Hanwu Galbi. Do you know anything about what it's been marinated in? Uh, soy sauce and also some pear for the sweetness and salt and sugar. And they just roll it out like the red carpet. So we're taking off the bone, but we're mm -hmm. still gonna grill it. Now, what do you do with the bone? Grill it until all the blood goes uh, disappeared. It's the best part of the meat. Okay, I'm gonna put a little soy sauce on there. Let's try it out. Mm. It's sweet, it's salty, it's tender, just extremely juicy. Like the flavor is so good, it like teleports you to another place. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just like, I, I'm not in the same world I was before. So once you chew on it, you're like... Yeah, you're like, where <laughs> even am I now, right? Oh, take a look at this. I've never had this special of a piece. Oh, it's, I'm roasting my arm at the same time. <laughs> it is the meat closest to the rib right there. It's supposed to be one of the best bites of the whole meal, right? Mm -hmm. The corn on the cob, last rib meat bite. Mm. It's like become caramelized. It's smoky, sweet, and caramelized on there. It's like I hear music in my ears. Mmm. We're not gonna delve into every single meat, but be assured that no food was wasted on this day. Well, almost no food. Thank you so much for eating all this awesome food with me today. Thank you. And I wanna thank Walker Hill for this, I mean, once in a lifetime experience, coming here, trying this prime Hanwu beef, getting to see how they make it in the kitchen, and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. Hehehehe <laughs>